I got involved in non-league when I started my own fun social football team in Division 5 of the um, Crawley and District Football League, which was Step 17, and that was 25 years ago. My best memory of following non-league? Well, probably my best memories are... Um, I'm fortunate to have many, and I think it's hard to define one from the other. Um, we did have a, an infamous playoff final win where we uh, we equalised with five seconds to go before going on to win an extra time. And probably when the dust settles on Dorking Wanderers, that'll be our finest iconic moment. My first football memory um, actually was um, watching the old Dorking Football Club play a team called Cray, Cray Wanderers um, and going there with my granddad, probably six or seven years old, and getting the match day programme, getting really excited that I had a programme and reading it back to front 30 times um, across the next month. Well, being more of an owner manager these days, um, I don't really have a favourite away day. I think for me, it's more of a case of um, just I love the friendly clubs. I love the I love the clubs where you know the the guys worked on the gate for thirty years, the ladies worked in the tea bar for twenty five years, and there's a hospitable feeling and a warmth. That's what I enjoy about non league. And giving non-league a go, well, it's it's it's, uh, it's accessible. It's accessible. It's it's uh, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. You get close to the action, and you have a sense of belonging, um, and you're amongst your local community. So I don't think I can sum it up better than that. <laughs>